Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Um, I'm back for some more video uh, vlogs. Um, so I'm gonna be filming like three or four videos in a row. Um, so the next like three or four videos that you see that I'm gonna be posting, I'm probably gonna be wearing the same thing in them because um, I don't know how much time I'm gonna be having over the next couple of weeks to make videos just because school is pretty crazy and all of that kind of stuff. I have another practicum coming up for school and we have an in-school practicum where we're doing like a whole bunch of advanced um, haircuts and stuff like that so it's probably gonna get kind of crazy so um, I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of them out of the way and then I can upload them like periodically over the next couple of weeks and um, that way I'm still putting stuff out and I don't feel like I'm just kind of ignoring it and I have stuff for people to watch and everything like that and of course I like putting stuff up so um, yeah and other than that um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my blog I've really enjoyed posting on it I know not everything is doll related but um, honestly like I don't have money right now to be buying dolls so um, a lot of it is just kind of stuff from my everyday or stuff that I find um, that I think is really cute or interesting and I'll just post it and write like a little thing about it and that kind of thing so I hope you guys like that um, other than that I'm not really sure like um, after this group of videos what um, what other videos you guys would like to see like I have so many like different types of toys it's crazy I guess I can just do videos on those um, I know some people have asked me to do like a room tour because my room is pretty big and it's just filled with stuff so I have lots of stuff to show um, you guys if you're interested in seeing that I know I really like room tour videos but um, I know some people might find them boring or something so um, yeah please just like let me know what you guys uh, would like to see and then um, I can kind of like do more videos that way so um, anyways let's get started with this video um, I decided to steer away from Monster High for a little bit just for this one video um, and I'm gonna be doing um, Barbie and it's three of uh, well two designer Barbies and then one that's um, a silk stone and it's designed by Robert Best so I guess it's kind of a designer so I don't really know but um, anyways let's get started with that right so up first we have my Torina Tarantino Barbie um, when I saw that this doll was coming out I freaked out I'm I was and I am uh, a big Trina Tarantino fan. I don't really, the only thing that I own of hers is this doll and I have the flat iron and uh, the blow dryer if you guys saw my blog post about that. Um, other than that I bought some stuff for my friends from Trina Tarantino but like I would buy it but um, I went to school for jewelry so I kind of like, I don't know, it's the price point for that jewelry. It's just, I I won't get into it because I just don't really agree with it. Anyways, um, so this doll is so cool. Like, I, I immediately fell in love with her. She's so pretty and um, girly and just cute and I love it. And um, she has so many little details all over her. Um, she has applied eyelashes. Her face is like the Steffi mold, which I usually really like, or I think it's Steffi. I don't know if someone knows for sure they can put, but I'm pretty sure that it's the Steffi mold. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, um, her face is cute, but I think because of the applied eyelashes, her eyes look a little bit wonky, but you get kind of, you don't even really notice that because there's so much other stuff going on with her. Um, namely, her hair is very, very bright pink, and there's like... It's fluorescent, like it's definitely fluorescent, and there's like a soft wave to it, and there's like a little bit of like ringlets in it, but um, not a lot. I think I might have tried combing it out, which is like a bad idea, like don't do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and she has, of course, a TR, which I'm all about. I don't know why I didn't include this doll in my like, maybe I did, in my pageant video, because she's wearing a tiara, and you guys know I'm all about that. And um, yeah, so this doll is like, it's, she's Swarovski'd out. It's all about the Swarovskis and pearls on this doll, which Tarina is all about. So, um, yeah, she has her little crown with all the, with three Swarovski crystals in it. I think that they're, yeah, they're Swarovski. And, um, then she has 
this necklace with a little Swarovski heart, it's pink, and then she has this one which is like a very typical like Trina Tarantino necklace that's like different lengths of pearl and chain and then like the Swarovski crystals in rows right there. And then she has like, I know I said this before in like my other videos, like I love like when dolls have like really fancy underwear, I just think it's like a really cool detail. And she has this like really pretty like pink bra type thing on underneath. I'm not really sure like how um, much it covers of her, if it's just like a bra or if it's like a full blown thing. Oh no, it's just a bra and it like does up in the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to have pictures of this or not because um, my light is broke for my light tent so it's like I don't want to put up crappy quality pictures but um, yeah. And then she has like the Barbie belt kind of like what they were selling for Trina Tarantino when she collaborated with Barbie. It's like the same like very 1970s, 1980s like um, imagery that they used when Barbie was out in the 80s for like the boxes and stuff. And um, yeah and she has bracelets, all these pearl bracelets and these ones probably aren't Swarovski but uh, they're just like little plastic crystals. Her nails are painted pink like a pinkish color, like a very dark pink, and um, she has this huge ring on her hand, you see that, and then she has this really pretty green mint, there goes her stand, um, mint colored dress, and it's trimmed with uh, a whole bunch of crystals along the bottom, and oh, and her purse is very cute, it's this striped color, or pink and white stripes green that matches her dress with like a little frill and like it actually oh no it's completely closed then the chain and there's like a little dangly thing on the the purse chain which is like bag candy for Trina Tarantino and then her stockings are pretty cool they're like this really cool um netted texture legging and then she has uh, pink lace-up stilettos with like little Swarovski crystal bow on the toe. And she has the model muse body if you guys are interested. Oh and her earrings which are of course very elaborate pearl and Swarovski crystal and they're facing forward. So I really like her. She's a really cool doll. I'm super glad that I got her. Um, the only other one kind of like her that I'd wish I'd gotten was the Toki Doki Barbie, but that doll sold out so fast because there was so much controversy about it for no reason. But anyways, on to the next doll. Um, this is my Versus Versace doll that I bought. She was actually like my first uh, collector line Barbie. And I just, I really love this doll. I love Versus. I think it's such a cool clothing line. I'm glad that they like brought it back out and everything. She's wearing this really cool jersey um, one piece that's like all different colors of blue and like the white and it's like a jumpsuit and it's sewn on to her you can't take it off and then she's wearing like a leatherette um, bolero thing with like faux fur on the sleeves and that's the back of it with this like little strap and it's like a really cool like brushed um, it might even be like faux, like uh, cowhide kind of, I think. It might be like that. Anyways, um, her face is very Versace looking and her hair is like very straight. I don't, I'm not crazy about her hair. It's kind of like the cheap Barbie hair, but I guess that they used it so that um, it's like ultra straight kind of and she has the blunt bang. Her makeup's really pretty and her shoes are blue and gold Versace like shoes. And there's her nail polish, it's yellow. She also has the model muse body. So I really like her a lot, and her box is really pretty too. Alright, so last doll for this one is this was my first and only Silkstone, but I want so many more. I think her name is Stolen Stolen Magic or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, I'll write it in the description, but she is super pretty and like just kind of stunning and yeah, I really like her a lot. She's... I love the Silkstone Barbies. I think that they're so pretty. I love their faces. I love that they look so like 
vintage looking, but like, they're still kind of mod. I don't know, I just love them a lot. And her hair is spectacular. And this one also has like the tiara with uh, rhinestones in it and very big costume uh, earrings. And then the bodice of her dress. I think these are separate, but the whole dress is basically sewn onto her, so it's kind of hard to remove. You can remove it, but I don't know why you would want to, because it's so, like, amazing. And uh, she comes with this big, huge stole, and then it's supposed to be, like, ermine-trimmed um, faux fur. And then she has all this embroidery and everything on here. And this doll is heavy. Like... She's a good, like, three pounds, I would say. Because the material that Silkstone is, it's like a weird mixture between, I think it's like vinyl and porcelain. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. And, um, yeah, the, the way that they come in the box and everything, like, I just, I love it. It's so, like, it's really cool. Like, if you guys could, can get a Silkstone, like, I would definitely suggest getting one. Because they're just so pretty, like... They're so cool to look at. And this hairstyle, I kind of want to try and recreate it for my updo competition at school. Because it's so pretty. It's just like, it's super intricate. I don't know how I would even tr begin to do it, but it, you must be able to do it. <laughs> Lots of extensions, I think. But, um, yeah, this doll is just, she's amazing. I love her. So, yeah. Um, there's not much else to say about her. And, yeah, so that's all for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, remember to check out my blog, which is unicornsheart.blogspot.ca, and uh, leave comments, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.